Okay, it's six o'clock, so we'll call the meeting to order. Um, and I, as I, I'm not sure if David's coming, but we'll start without him. And we'll, if he wanders in, we'll, uh, that's all the better. So uh, we'll start. Is there any comment from the public? Yes, sir. Yes, <clears throat> Matthew Allison, Flathill. Um, I would just like to remind everybody and stress the importance that I see of having a hard property line uh, separating the TZ Paseos parcel, uh, <clears throat> well, the building as a parcel separate from the um, school campus. And, um, and just the second comment would be, uh, since this is a, 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 probably going to draw some public interest, um, it might be nice to have public comment at the beginning and the end. And I appreciate that you've uh, had the opportunity for me to make my comment. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Mr. Chair, just so that we're legal, I think the uh, statement of the report oh, will be in yeah. one needs to be read. You're right. Thank you. Thank you. In, the in accordance with the requirements of the open meeting law, please be advised that this meeting, I said may on the agenda, but is being recorded for broadcast over the Lunenburg Public Access Channel. Um, the agenda lists all the topics which may be discussed at the meeting and are those reasonably anticipated by the chair. Votes may be taken as a result of these discussions. Not all items listed may in fact be discussed and other items not listed may also be brought up for discussion to the extent permitted by open meeting law. Thank you, Dave. Apologize for not reading that. Is there any other public uh, comment? Okay. Um, we will move on to the minutes. I typed up, did everybody get a copy of the minutes? Uh, yes. Does anybody need a copy? Take a copy. Sure. I, I saw the draft when it's yeah. changed. Since I didn't get any, any corrections by email, so these are just as you saw it on the yeah. email. So, um, did anybody remember it differently? I'll give you a minute to take a look at it. I remember it completely differently. Yeah, I know. If anybody has any other changes, I would move that we accept the uh, minutes for the meeting of, I don't see the day on here. 10-16. Second that. <coughs> okay, any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? I'll just list myself as not voting. Yeah, I'll just say it's abstained. I'm like. Okay, great. Um, next agenda item is review, confirm committee organization and committee name. So my thought here was um, <laughs> two of the members that we voted as as uh, vice vice chair and. Secretary, we're not here at the last meeting, so I guess I just wanted to, uh, I just wanted to make sure that that's we expected. Were, yeah, <laughs> I wanted to make sure that we were we were uh, good to, to roll, and, and and the folks that were voted in were um, formally accepted those positions. Um, I know Dave's not here, but um, yeah. does anybody have any? Uh, th this is your your chance. <laughs> It's too late, huh? <laughs> Nobody else is going to step forward. Uh, listen, I'll give it a run. Uh, if it, uh, if my results are not uh, up to par, we'll talk about it again. Okay. That's fair enough. <clears throat> and then um, the second I put on here, uh, committee name. We had some dis brief discussion about that, Dave. That was kind of something that you had. Said it yeah, email, I just so. brought it up because I, I think we need to settle on exactly what the name is going to be going forward so the general public knows <clears throat> what the committee is. TC Building Committee, 
I think half the town won't know what we're talking about. TC Passio's building design committee stretches out a name five mm -hmm. miles long. Uh, I don't know if we can find a happy medium in there and stick to it straight through or not. Um, that, that was my only reason for bringing it up. Yes, I'm a Passios and I like to see my name up there, but it doesn't have to be there. Yeah. You know, as long as we have a, a, a workable name that everybody will recognize that that's what we're doing is we're working on the design plans for that building. Yeah. I don't know if anybody else has any other comments. Yeah. So, so you do you look at it as more of a just a uh, I don't know um, I don't want to say advertising might not be a good word but just something that's a little more descriptive to the task more or less hand. I mean up to this point every meeting that it's ever been that has been brought up at nobody really knows what the real official name of the committee is gotcha. I mean every time it came up at the board of selectmen's meeting they spent five minutes trying to figure out what to call the committee each time. So I, I think as a committee we set on something and we stick with it, then it will yep. go through uh, whatever time period where we we'll end up doing this project. I mean, <laughs> it just seems appropriate that it be given its real name to the building, which is TCP Building Design Committee. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I don't mean T T C Yeah, TC Passios Building Design Committee. I would just, if you want to keep it as a as a as an acronym. I mean, TC, everybody knows what TCP yeah, is. Yeah, actually, the the school families know it as TCP. Even even mm -hmm. way yeah. back when when right. they were still going there. Yeah, it was TCP. Right. It wasn't TC Passios. They knew who Tom Passios was, but the building was TC Passios. Yeah. So I'm comfortable with that, and it helps shorten it a little bit. Yeah. So TCP Building, building Design, Design Committee. Committee. I'll make a motion to that effect. Second. Okay. Any further discussion on that? Seeing none. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> All right. Okay, excellent. Um, the next thing, we, we talked briefly last week about... Um, sort of, um, uh, I don't, the, solidify the charge of the committee. So I wasn't sure how much discussion we need to have on this, but I put it on as an, as an agenda item um, to review, discuss the charge of the committee. And I, I added in there the, you know, the, where I think we got our charge, which is from the article uh, from last annual town meeting. And I, you know, maybe it, at a minimum it's appropriate to just, um, Keep that on the agenda. We could, you know, to keep it in front of us, so that as we're moving forward, we're keeping it in our, um, you know, keeping that charge mindful. Uh, so I'll just read it, and then if anybody has any anything they want to add to this, perhaps uh, Heather, if you have anything you want to add to this, um, feel free. But the article said to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate or transfer from available funds a sum of money for the design and engineering to consolidate town offices, school uses, and community spaces at the building and land known as the T.C. Passios, located at 1079 Massachusetts Avenue, shown on assessor's map 060, lot 055, and any and all incidental and related costs, including but not limited to site evaluation, <coughs> engineering, and final design services, or take any other action relative thereto. And it was submitted by the board of select. Yeah, I, I would agree that that's a charge. Yeah. And we had a discussion at yep. the board of selectmen, and we you know, conformed this committee. That was what we agreed mm -hmm. upon. Yeah. And I, I totally agree with that part of it. And expanding on the previous public comment, uh, 1079 Massachusetts Avenue, that's the entire school complex, isn't it? I believe so. Yeah, I I mean... And, and I did raise that question also yeah. as, as an agenda item yes. before to be discussed yes. tonight, as, as well as the public comment that hit my comments right yeah. on those. Yeah. <coughs> um, 
So, I mean, we can maybe take these in parallel. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, I kind of, I, I thought of that maybe as a goal. Um, so maybe the next, the next agenda item, but um, I looked on GIS today. I, yeah, it looks to me like it's still, uh, it's still lumped in. It's, you know, the, um, the, the only argument I ever got that it was, that any delineation was made was lines to tell MSBA what acreage the new school was being built on built on and the, you know there was talk at one time that oh on the back side of TCP it comes up to within 10 feet of the building and so on and so forth but mm -hmm. as far as the town is concerned through the assessor's office I don't believe anything formal has ever been done to separate the building there's no the there's no map that has been filed that says that this is what the boundary is no my, my recollection is when we were going through the process, um, the engineer who did the school project put a proposed property line on there when we were having the discussion, but it never got formalized. Right. right. I think you're right about that. Okay. Yeah, basically, you're, you're correct about the memory of yes, it was a requirement of MSBA is to you know, show us where you it is on the, you on the property. Right, exactly. Property. Right, right. Okay. <laughs> uh, just a couple of questions that, are, that arise. You know, I bring, you know, to the table, which is that, um, so it says to, uh, to raise an appropriate, but we don't have a specific budget at this point. Part of our job is to develop that budget. That's my understanding. Okay, and then would that require going back to town meeting to be authorized? We have a budget for this project. We do have a budget yep. for the project. Okay, maybe, maybe we could, I'm sorry? Oh, for the design part. For, the design. Yeah. for what? For the design, 265. Was that? Presented when the article was because I obviously missed town meeting. Yes, sir. We, yeah, we, we, have, we have a budget for the design, not a budget for the building. We need right. to come up with that. That's what I'm saying. I was looking for what 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 right. what, what is the 265 to come up? What were yeah. what our uses? Right. And that is to get to a final design. As I read here. Design development. Design development. Okay. Um, so if there were a feasibility stage, that would have to also be incorporated in that as well. Yeah. yeah, come on over now. Yeah. Okay. Um, like so I brought the slides to that were part of the town meeting. Kind of you know, a charge. Thank you. Specific to um, the conceptual designs that were done as part of this process um, by a previous engineer. And so the whole uh, cost was based on option one and um, for, for this portion of the project. And option one is um, demolishing the rear left-hand corner of the building, the newest part of the, the building, and retaining the rest for offices and coming space. Okay. And the... Um, so for yeah, excuse me, did you say option one? Yes. Because I'm looking at option one and it's got the back wing attached to it. Now there's a no, little there's a little piece. Like triangle shaped piece that lives on the edge of it. Mm -hmm. Oh just that it's like little, computer room piece or was it was a computer lab yeah. when I was there. Yeah. So it's a relatively yeah. minor yeah. demolition in yeah. terms yeah. of okay. the whole building. I, small I understand that. Thank you. So the um, work would include updating you know, the feasibility part because we've gone through the space needs assessment already. So we we'll be confirming all those figures as far as um, that goes and then the schematic design and then design development to get you to construction documents including a detailed cost estimate. Um, if we could re review because I think it's worth for the folks watching um, what uh, documents we have currently and where to, how to assess them? So these three op options, so option one, what, what this project, you know, this portion was based on, was um, done by Paul Lineup. Is, is it available online or? Uh, I would have to check that. I can um, that for you. I brought those in large portions too. Um, take one of those. So one's the site plan, and 
Oh, that's great. Yeah. <coughs> was, there, was, was there an actual feasibility done that that's where the 265000 so came to? The original um, space needs assessment was part of the TAPE. Oh, the TAPE space needs assessment, okay. Mm -hmm. And we went through the exercise of updating mm -hmm. all those figures and re um, going back to every department to see what their actual needs were. Which changed over time. Yeah, Heather, how much did that adjust the needs, space needs to uh, remember roughly? I think it went from 18,000 to 21,000. So it went up okay. rather than down? Yeah, because there were more um, space needs to the school central offices. It actually decreased the cable space. Oh, so that included that included cable that included cable yeah. space in that mm -hmm. twenty one thousand. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Includes storage, long term storage for files, community space, office space, mm -hmm. um, meeting space. Yeah. <coughs> Another hand off the line. This might get into this plan a little bit too deep right now, but uh, my recollection of the room that's called Hearing. Oh, wait a minute. No, I'm sorry. I do have one of those. Yeah, sure. Keep passing no, it's a, it's a, it's a, Yeah, multiple times. <laughs> I was thinking it was a packet. Sorry. <laughs> oh, that's a blow up of the bill. Yeah. That's so nice. Yeah. So you got it? Down the road at some point, we, we may need to talk about ADA compliance in these areas. I think we're good. I got the option one. Oh, wait. That's yeah, got the option one. Well, I would think that, yeah, I would think that you would want to have the ADA compliance in there. Yeah. 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 Y
thinking we might talk about what the first what the first speaker's uh, public commenter said. Um, you know, I don't necessarily think we need to come up with a whole with a. We, we tonight's not the night. I don't think to hammer out any specific goals we might have, but um, perhaps we keep it on the agenda uh, to try. I think it's always good to have. I mean, if you if you shoot at nothing, you'll hit it every time, right? So, mm -hmm. um, it, it'd be it, you know to the extent that we're aiming for something, even if it's just you know some um, some timeline goals um, mm -hmm. and some big picture things, um, I think it'd be handy to keep I, those in focus. Yeah, I think with the discussion that's already gone around the table, one of the biggest things we're going to want to do early on is get a do a full review of that report and see if there's anything glaring that we want to have uh, looked into to change mm -hmm. as Damon brought up of that you know necess not necessarily using the existing wall structures in there and and would it make sense to blow walls out and reconfigure and and how does that affect the overall cost uh, as you say in some cases, it costs the same, it costs less, depending on what you run into. As long as you've got a building that's uh, structurally sound and those are not bearing walls, mm -hmm. which I agree with them, most of them aren't. So I, I see that as a, a very upfront thing that we need to accomplish. Um, and the footprint of property that the building is going to sit on uh, is going to be important. Um, it's all going to be town owned land, but one is under the care and custody of the school district, the other will be under the care and custody of the Board of Selectmen and the town manager. Mm -hmm. So there's got to be a, a, a very clear separation of the plots, in my eyes. Yeah, yeah it goes back to the town meeting article where the building was transferred from the school committee to the Board of Selectmen, the committee, and from that, was the TAP A study was the whole design is based on TAP A study footprint um, where the building sits. Yeah. And, and, there was, that and there was land area outside the building that yeah. this uses in that. Mm -hmm. Transfer. Yeah, I, it I basically runs. I don't know if you you, you know where that that kind of gravel parking area is. Yeah. The construction, the line. old construction line. Right. It's just across. It's literally like five feet to the other side of that. Other side. So that that the that's called uh, towards, towards, the towards the building. Towards the building. Oh, so towards right the building. Right. Against right. the building. Right. See, no. that's so that area is not on the land. That, no. That, okay. Yeah. So those are the kind of things that yeah, are good to. Are going to be good to have. Yeah, them. actually, I think the construction trailer was right on the line, if I don't recall. Is it? Pretty much. So, it, 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 you know, I think the gravel lot is a good. Uh, I know that gravel lot was part of the school project because there was talk about multiple uses at the end of the project for that area. Right. Uh, but then nothing was done with it. <coughs> well, there was. Um, you Except know. to clean it up after the construction. Right, right. Um, well, it, well, there was a decision made not to spend any of the um, money saved in the in the project on any any further work. Yeah, we well, we actually we might have actually gotten a credit for not putting it back to Lomond C. Correct. So, like, they they actually gave us, I think, a credit to the project because we d we decided just to keep it as the construction area. <laughs> Save money. They were, they were going to rip all that out. The cost. That yeah. cost was built into the project. They, 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 yeah, they did that on yeah. there. And, and then and I think they were going to rip that out and put long Am I mistaken? Right. Quite often when it gets really crowded around there, that lot's Oh, cool. yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I parked it. No, I thought it was just a wise thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, anyway, in terms of goals, I mean, I think it's more like what we need to do is what are next steps. Yeah. I think that probably would be, you know, number one. Yeah. Um, yeah, they, they, these could be short-term goals. Yeah, <laughs> uh, absolutely. And, you know, some of the next steps I have to imagine are, you know, what process we want to have to identify and then interview and then hire <laughs> architectural and engineering services, and that goes back to you know have some understanding of the procurement process and how that will fit with the the process, um, and then I'm assuming that the majority of that. Uh, budget is assumed to be design. No other costs involved. Right. Okay. 
Yeah. Seems. Now, and you know, as, so and you you want to get to design development, so. And that, that design development is what was yeah it's there. like one so, step before finals yeah so we're doing you're doing you're doing a survey anyway I mean we're doing you're doing full yeah yeah we're trying to get as close to a, a fixed price as we can right. so we can go to right. the sure. town and ask for Absolutely. approval to go help right. the project or not right. yeah right okay so that's, that's makes sense um, so it's basically a shovel ready project without the money right well it's you still need to get to final designs so I mean there's still th probably things that will need to be worked out but we'll get right. as close as we can mm -hmm. right. So yeah, but to the to the point about the land, um, that could be I would imagine added to the uh, as a specific item that we want addressed in the RFP. Sure. Um, that we have an engineer or surveyor yeah. identify how that can be split. You know, like legally, you know, through mm -hmm. an ANR plan process or whatever it has to be. Yeah, and and <clears throat> part of that plan obviously is going to be uh, proper access and egress. Right. And all of that. All oh, that yeah. goes with that because I believe there are some issues there also. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, there are going to be a bunch of issues. I mean, you know, there are people that are concerned about, you know, the common use between the, um, you know, the drive in between the town and the schools. Mm -hmm. And I think it's worth at least some, some thought and discussion as we go along. But those kinds of things will, will be cropping up as we make our way through this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Like I say, I, th I think the short-term goal is to get our hands on what exists now and, and have a, a full meeting to, after it's been digested a little bit yep. individually, to sit here and discuss it around the table <laughs> as to what we see good about it, what we might want to see changed about it. Mm -hmm. um, right. So in the interest of trying to keep things moving and to put some dates on that, um, I haven't seen that document. Is this a big? Is this something that's going to take more than two weeks for people to review? Do you think, or what? Do you, or the last one done? Yeah. Well, it's, it's three pages. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. so we could put that on. We could distribute that and mm -hmm. put and that will be up for discussion next, at next, our next meeting. agenda. Right. Yeah. And if you want to dig deeper, there's the, the vertex report, and deeper than that, there's a tap A right. report. Right. Yeah. Okay. But this, it's more about talking about the building condition and not right. Well, any any information relative to that building, I think, would be great to have. But um, um, I think if we if it's, we make yeah, it, it's, wor it's worth going back and rereading at least yeah. the section pertaining to the so let's to the building let's itself. let's um, let's distribute get, distribute that and and we can all review it and we'll put that on an agenda item as as next uh, for next time. Sure. Those are all items that I want the firms bidding on the project to have as well. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that's true. Yeah. Baseline information. Oh, that, that was actually a question I had. Um, were there? So these are kind of real schematic. Mm -hmm. Is there any information that we have from any of those studies that would be? I mean, I, I know the information would be usable in some fashion, but is there anything that would like really save us money? Like, has an exi has an architect gone in there and done like a detailed existing conditions plan of the building or anything like that? No, we s we save money by supplying that our ourselves. Okay, and volunteer. I guess so. It's not, they're going to So you're not going. There's no architect that's going to use that. Probably. I, I know that we've probably had this discussion in other committees, but it, there are no existing plans that it's just, that we ha can get our hands yeah, on. Yeah, there are. There I, are. Okay. Yeah. The, well, they're blueprints that it's blueprints, just, right? Yeah, I, I scanned them in, so we have them digitally. Oh, okay. Um, are they proposed plans? No, these are the, 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 the original, the, the original building. The original building, like the original um, construction plans. Yeah, not as built though. Right, okay. not as built to construction right. plans. Okay, yeah. right. So yeah, a long time ago. Right, 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 right. right. Yeah, yeah, two, three. Yeah. 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 Okay. But yeah, somebody, a responsible architect, would go in there and as built. Absolutely. Yeah. So I, I just want. I didn't know the detail that. That we've gone into. Uh, okay. Um, do we have a goal of what our timeline is? I assume we're well, not making special town meeting. <laughs> <laughs> not going to make special town meeting. So I, I yeah, I, I mean, eventually we're going to need to walk backwards from I would assume annual town meeting and and, and see if that's doable. Yeah, um, but I think that's going to play into our next agenda topic, which is. Pro pro what the what the process is here, and as we get started into procurement, which is why Heather was kind enough to come. Thank you for coming. <laughs> I appreciate it. I'm trying to get you out of here soon. Uh, 
So I brought the um, our designer selection procedure. So it's kind of like the procedure. And um, so I would put the RFQ together. And um, so then appoint, as part of this process, I appoint the um, design committee mm -hmm. um, as part of the selection of the designer. The process. Uh, what what's the how is the design committee made up? It is this committee. It's okay. <laughs> point you to point out. Oh, oh, the committee. design committee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So when I uh, I made that recommendation to the selection that they whoever they was appointed to the building committee would also be the designer selection. Got it. So okay. It great. Simple. Oh, that's interesting. So, but they could be it's, they could be separate if you want. Right. Yeah, no reason yeah, to do that. Okay. I get it. That doesn't make any sense. No. <laughs> no. So timeline, it would require me putting the RFQ together. Um, so that might take a little bit of time. Um, what goes into that is, you know, background, minimum qualifications, um, evaluation criteria, everything that we're going to use for the baseline to evaluate them when they come in. Um, once we, uh, once that's put together, it has to be advertised for a minimum of two weeks in the Central Register and a local newspaper. Um, and so, but given that, you have to actually add in a week because it has to go into the Central Register the week prior right, and get right, advertised right, right. the Wednesday after. So that all has to be factored in. And then, um, Review obviously of the bids, selection of at least three finalists to interview, and then uh, ranking those finalists, and then selecting and awarding. <coughs> so now, out of this committee, a recommendation goes to do we make the final choice, or does a recommendation go to, say, the select board? And they approve or disapprove the recommendation. The um, the town manager is the boarding authority, moving body. So this this, this committee sense. would make a yeah. rec. I assume concert review mm -hmm. would make a recommendation, and then you would be the one that would award. Yeah, okay. next to that. Okay. Do you need input from us to put together the RFQ, or is that something you can? If there's things in particular that you like, I, you know, I'll address those and incorporate. Okay. So would and, it I, and I assume that we'll, you know, we'll be review, we'll review, review the RFQ right. and, mm -hmm. so it's and have it, you know, an ability to comment. And mm -hmm. Right. But okay. it's easier to put stuff in, or or at least have the mindset that these are particular things that the committee. Has voiced their opinions on and should be in there, sure. and then you know they can be adjusted afterwards, put together. I'm assuming that makes your job easier if things are known ahead of time and have mm -hmm. instead of three edits. <laughs> <laughs> so you make me think of another goal for the for the group, short-term goal for the group, which is that to to develop the t the project timeline. Like we have to have at some point, you know, these are the these are the milestones we want to hit, and this is when we want to hit them. Yeah. Getting the RFQ out is going to be the first. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thing we need to get. And it may, might get clearer then. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, it probably. I mean, that just can't happen fast enough, right? I mean, mm -hmm. to give us as much time in the on the other end, on the, uh, during the, doing the actual working with the whoever we select, yeah, you know, right. we want to maximize that time. Right. Yeah. So that window so. between. When it's awarded and at this point target May town meeting is that time frame. Right. You know, the, right. the, big, the bigger we can have that window, the better off we're going to be when we get to town right. meeting. I think it's going to be part of the interview process too, making sure the architect can pull it off, can handle it right. Mm -hmm. right. Right. But you're right. Before we get to that point, we'll need to know, we'll, we'll need to have a clear. Well, right. we need to have that. I mean, it's a good comment that to, to develop that timeline as a goal because we'll want to have. We want to be very clear that we can co clearly communicate what our what our schedule needs to be with the can with the finalists. So mm -hmm. that's a good. 
and, and, and again, the reason I said that maybe it, it needs to get the uh, we need to get to the design selection, the designer selection, before we actually are able to create a really good timeline. Because there are things that we don't know about how long it will take. It's true. I mean, nobody's sitting around waiting for work right now either. No. So right. Getting on someone's schedule is going to be an issue also. Yeah, yeah. It's true. I, I was going to point that out. I don't think two weeks is long enough for it to be out to bed. Thank you. It probably wants, you probably want four weeks. Yeah. 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 I think so. Most of those are. Because it's going to be a comprehensive right. you know, response right. that they're going to have to put together. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. No, that's good. Mm -hmm. weeks. So, weeks. so what I'm hearing then is you will, Heather will develop a draft mm -hmm. that will circulate to us, draft RFQ, we'll review, comment, provide comments back to Heather, she'll incorporate them in the final document. If while she's drafting it we have anything that we really want to see in there, we'll, we'll get it to her so she can incorporate it and try to streamline that. But. Um, with, with the need for four weeks for advertising and Heather to have time and for us to review, I'm, I'm kind of tabulating in my head, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, we should be targeting the first of the year for the RFQ to be, or, or bids to be back, or sometime shortly after that. Because we're at the end of October now, yep. so November, December, there's the end of the year. Yep. So if you're four bidding weeks, it, four weeks of advertising. If the advertising's in December, basically, is what you're right. saying. Okay. Right. And give Heather the month of November. Is that enough? And our review. So we've got to work our review <laughs> into the second <laughs> meeting well, of the month if it's ready. Yeah. 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 yeah no holidays and events. Yeah. I mean, right. you start advertising in, and then yeah, yeah, yeah the holidays yeah. break everything. So like I said, it, and know, are, looking at it. Right. If everything goes like clockwork, first of the year, right. it may push. It may push that. back, but if we kind of have that and, in mind, and then, so we're, and then we're pushing shoot. towards spring. So yeah, no, you're right. Man. I mean, it's going to go quick. <laughs> exactly. It's go yeah. quick. Uh, <laughs> the more and more I'm thinking about it, that, that this, I think that it would be a, a heavy lift to get to May. I <laughs> to get to design development. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, if we, if we can't get the whole thing done, we should at least be able to provide a pretty decent report as to our status. Oh, absolutely. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah definitely. I'm just. I, I mean, if we yeah, get ourselves right. all well, with the realistic that. thought that it, it's a really aggressive goal and know that it may not be attainable, then you know at least we're yeah. you know, going into it with our eyes wide right. open that we may very well not make that. Yeah. And if we, if we don't make it, then the summer is a good time to advertise it and to the community and do public outreach. Sure. Well, I was product. even thinking about just even if we hit all the numbers, if it's if, if we get, you know, a, a number of people to interview in January, it'll be February before we get know, going. Get, really get going. Like right. the end of February right. before we... Before we have a, a company to work with right. and, and start right. the process. Yeah. March, okay. April, I May. I think you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So there's, there's no way to spin the design around and make it on the warrant with anything. Right. Like, right. Yeah. right. That's. A, I just wanted us to kind of recognize but that, as especially as in this construction environment. I mean, everybody's yeah. just out there doing work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I can vouch for that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, obviously, we'll, it'll be a discussion with whoever we yeah. interview for yeah. for yeah. designs, but yeah, you know, as yeah. long as we're kind of aware of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. What we're asking. Yeah. Okay. okay. We we pretty much so got November's meetings. Uh, yeah. Assigned. Yeah. That's for sure. So we would we would target um, the second meeting in November is what I'm hearing as as to review. I mean, probably to review of RFQ if if it's if it's ready. Right. We got a town meeting here. Town so meetings at twelve. Yeah. 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 Town meetings at twelve. We meet the sec the next the next the Wednesday after town meeting, right? So right. When do we key in our meetings? Uh, second and fourth. Yeah. So we'd be fourth is the one before the day before Thanksgiving, I believe, isn't it? Oh, is this oh. 
maybe the, the we'll Wednesday talk. after. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. Wednesday after Thanksgiving? No. Or meeting. Or meeting. Yeah, after meeting. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, and do we want to take what was that date? So, so, well, our next two meetings we had tentatively set for November 13th and November 27th. But as we just pointed out, November 27th is the night before Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, no, so anybody against moving that to the first Wednesday in, the, in December? First and third. Or just that meeting could be adjusted. We could st we could still keep it on. How does that work with ZBA and school committee? Um, just so the school committee is on the Tuesday. School co school committee. Oh, Wednesday. 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 Yeah, yeah, so it is going to impact school. It's going to impact school committee. What about Thursday for Friday's committee? <laughs> try to put it on the same night. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I get that. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's up to Dave. When does finance committee start? Seven. Seven. Yeah. Well, we're getting a little bit. But um, I'm just thinking in terms of allowing the other members to attend. Yeah. Knowing that David's at CBA and. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Especially school committee. So yeah. You can the school uses in the building. Right. What was the conflict with Monday nights? Was planning it planning, planning board? board. Planning, yeah. 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 I would have volunteered Tuesday before selectman, but we're doing capital planning now, so we can't already double book yeah, that day. Yeah, you're already booked on Tuesdays, right? Yeah, I mean, on some nights, I mean, on a night like tonight, we might get it. We we'll, might get through it in an hour. It's already quarter to seven, though. But on, you know, when we get into the meat of it, we're gonna, I think we'll need some we're, time. We're gonna need some time. So it's squeezing it in before a, another night meeting is hard. But yeah. I don't know. Yeah. We don't really have another. And, and I think it's going to be virtually impossible to work around. Seven member schedules. Yeah. Um, at least in the initial stages. Yeah, we'd like to have everybody here, but realistically, unless you want to do it on a Saturday or a Sunday morning. Um, right. And even then, it's problematic. Right. Right. And I vote no. <laughs> <laughs> and again, right at this point in the timeline, sending out the RFQ is going to hold everything up, and mm -hmm. it's not. I don't view that as as critical in needing everybody's input as the selection of the architect or I, the, or I, the I design agree. of the building. Right. I, I totally agree. It's true. And, it, and so as long as everybody gets a chance to review it and send their comments in, if they know they're not going to be able to make the review meeting, I, th I think would be good. Yep. You know, we could move forward with that, with with whatever date the core group can participate. So, are we suggesting the sixth of November? Is that what I'm hearing? Well, I think we're I think we December were thinking 4th. about right. December fourth. Yeah, whatever that one. Instead of oh, I'm sorry, November twenty seventh. December fourth, right? Just okay. shifting. Oh, I'm sorry, December fourth. You say the week after town meeting, you can maybe have it. So that would be the, the that's really after the twenty first. The context of this discussion is to think about when we might target for getting an R a draft R. Yeah, I, I think we're going to have to like. Yeah, and I mean, maybe, you know, it's a, it's a goal, so I don't know. Well, town meeting's at 12. Anybody, I'm not sure Heather's prepared to make a commitment for a date. But <laughs> 12 is two. How many is it 12? 13. Yeah. Our ne our, the, next, the next meeting, our next meeting is the day after town meeting. Yeah. Which so is that's probably not realistic for you to get an RFQ done by then. So that's why. Right. Then the next meeting, it, we, we're, we're thinking of moving to the 4th of December. Right. The question that is, would be is that, sufficient time is that mm -hmm. realistic? Okay. So, so that gives you two weeks after 10 meetings. Three weeks. Right. Well, two weeks if you take out the holiday okay. week. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that, that's doable? I think that is. Okay. okay. So that's what. So I'd say we I'd say we roll that. Earlier, I can, you know, yeah, I circulate it. it. Yeah, that'd be great. You know, because then we can all have a chance to review it and make come to that meeting with... You know, some thoughts. Yeah, if it's the fourth and we don't approve it that night, then we're pushing out to the middle of December. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the goal there is review and approve. Really, review and approve on the fourth. Okay. And so that would be. Well, we'll talk about future meetings in a minute, but just for the context of this discussion with the RFQ draft, we'll target reviewing that and approving it on the fourth of December. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
the ready. All right, good. Um, and so that will be our next meeting. We're not going to be on the 13th. Well, we can decide. We'll decide that. In a, uh, I got another item for future meetings. We'll I, decide I was going to say, I thought we had something yeah, else. Yeah, we, we do. I think we do. Targeted. We, we want to review the full report. Um, oh, the existing the next, report. The existing yeah. report. Okay. That was the talk next meeting. I missed that. Mm -hmm. Could you say it again? Siri thought you talking to her. Mine does that, too. It's crazy. <laughs> Um, Stop listening. <laughs> okay, so are there any other questions while we have the town manager present regarding the RFQ process that we want to discuss or review? No, I think we're good. This is great. Thank you for providing that. That's nice. I'll read that through. Do you, are the other reports of Tepe and the Vertex still on the website, or should we just... I couldn't it? find it. I will have to check. They were on the old website. Oh, okay. They should be searchable still. All right. Um, everything I, should have been brought over, but... I tried um, to search them, but I could be searching something. I can't wrong. find anything on this I website. can't either. The old website was a dinosaur, but you could find stuff. Yeah. The new one, like, <laughs> it's hard to <laughs> seem to search as yeah. well. Yeah. Some things pop up, but I didn't... I clicked through a few... I didn't... No, yeah, so what we can send do is to, uh, create a, a new page for this committee oh, okay. yep. and house those we'll documents on that page. Sure. That would be great. Yeah. Be and great. it would just be possible to attach it to an email to the members? Um, you put the members' emails? No, just, no, just make sure the members get those reports. Oh, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. That would be great. Thank you. Thanks, Heather. Right. Thanks, Heather. Thank you. Um, Have a good night. Any other discussion regarding that? Or are we good with that? Okay. I don't think so. I, I think it's good that we're pinning down specifics for each meeting and, and a goal. Yeah. This, this first goal, like you say, is, is the one that's going to drive everything else. Yeah. So, and, and you know, we'll revisit the timelines and goals as we go along. Yeah, we just absolutely. Have a rough roadmap to. Uh, I just think anytime you get a new committee, it's just. It's, it's responsible to keep goals as a focus as, as you start. So, uh, yep. I, um, so I, I put on here community outreach, and I think this is kind of this is going to be um, important when we get into the, the next, you know, after we get into um, the meat of this work here. Um, but I put this on here tonight um, so we can start to be start to think about it. And I had in my mind um, the topic of social media, um, and just to kind of discuss that, or just discuss that right out of the gate. Um, mm -hmm. That um, I'm sure we'll formalize what we want to do for community outreach, or we want to do, you know, um, uh, you know, community, uh, you know, get some feedback from the community. Words escaping me at the, at the moment. Um, but I'm sure you know uh, social media is, is a is an avenue that we may want to explore. And I, I guess I just wanted to the, to say uh, that the ta that the town has, of course, a uh, social media policy. I think for elected appointed committees. Um, I don't think that's formalized in talking to Heather, but they, they still have to finalize that. But I just wanted to keep it in mind that as we move forward, um, personally for me, I think social media is a powerful tool. But I just want to. Be careful that we don't go down the rabbit hole of um, or get lost in the weeds. I think it's a really good uh, public announcement tool. Like I think I really want to use it for disseminating information. Um, I think that that's appropriate, but um, that we're kind of mindful as we <laughs> tread into those waters that you know um, it's easy to get it's easy to get lost in the weeds on social media, and I really don't want to go down those. I want to make sure we have public comments in the public meeting, you know, as much as we can, and really encourage that dynamic um, because we all know what can happen on on uh, on those I, things. So I think the one other really important piece of that is that we've got to be as careful as possible that misinformation doesn't get out there. Yep. Uh, you know, we may be kicking something back and forth as as options and have not have decided on anything and all of a sudden somebody right. picks up on one thing we said that we hadn't even decided on and it takes off on social media like oh look what they're doing now right and that isn't what we're doing right 
Oh, that wouldn't it. happen, would it? No. And there's already plenty of misinformation. <laughs> and there you're right. So part of it's probably going to be to really try to rein it in. <coughs> right. A part of our community outreach will be one of, uh, yeah, of trying to yeah. grab back. I mean, obviously, that. I think that it would be worth our while, even though our meetings are open and so on and so forth, that... Uh, that we just have meetings that are a public meeting for, for public comment. Right. Meeting that's just for people to, you know, you know. One, once we have, you know, sort of preliminary things to discuss, you know, we we start informing people. This is this is where we're heading with this. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and and we may have others along the way. Absolutely. Um, you know, we found that useful in the school building project. We have actually sort of targeted sort of groups of folks to invite. Yeah. Yeah. We do. Yeah. Different works. Uh, works. What, what's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, public forum, or you know. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Pub, yeah. More of a public forum. Yeah. yeah. Um, that we know, it's, it's, it's for the sole purpose of receiving comments yeah. and. The the other thing we I think we should be mindful of if and I don't know what this might morph into, but there are certain opportunities at different times of the year to disseminate information and or questionnaires that can be very easily done, put in with tax bills, put mm -hmm. in with, uh, you know, mailings that go to the entire town, those types of things, and just be aware of when those happen. We won't necessarily have anything to go into those uh, slots, but if we are looking for input from the town, a questionnaire at the appropriate time through those avenues might be a good a good choice. Yeah. And the open space had uh, you know a, a ten percent ten percent response rate to theirs, and I forget how that got mailed, but it went with one of the yeah one of the mailings. Yeah, yeah, and it was it was a that's a great you know as far as those go they mm -hmm. got a lot of yeah. and I, I think also. As we do the RFQ and select the designer, we need to make sure graphics and presentation capabilities are an important part of the selection. Mm -hmm. Because if, if you have the most talented architect in the world, if they can't explain it to people, exactly. if it was something we can use, exactly. it's right. useless. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, great. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you go up to town meeting and say, we want <coughs> this many dollars, but we can't show you why. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't work. I don't know if the, uh, with the uh, new publisher, with the uh, ledger still accepting, um, you know, unsolicited articles, but uh, that might be something you might want to think about down the road. Is sending in an article to the to the ledger on the activities of the committee and what the goals are and what we hope to accomplish once we have a better handle on, as I said, after I think after we complete the she's designer my, selection. She's my neighbor. Yeah. across the street oh, okay. so I can talk to her about it. Okay. And even progress updates it. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, yeah definitely. That, that'll get some get the word out in front of some of the people. In right, front. right. Yeah. They still that's do... A good, that's a good idea. Yeah, if we could check on it. I was just trying to remember if they still do town-wide mailings because I know every... Yeah, I get one every, I, once, you get one every once in a while. Yeah. yeah. It was like three times a year that they I did the they entire did. town rather than just uh, yeah. subscription holders. That's a good thing still. Okay. Any other comments relative to that? Good. All right. Um, so we talked a little bit about the future meeting schedule. So um, our next meeting would be the 13th. November 13th, mm -hmm. is there, um, is that a placeholder day for town meeting, if town meeting goes too long? It shouldn't run over. It shouldn't be a special town meeting. It okay. Yeah, I don't think they yeah. Okay. Yeah. But, yeah, we haven't discussed that. Okay. So we'll, we'll, we'll plan to meet then, and then we just, we discussed December, uh, what was that, the 4th? 4th. 4th, yeah. Which is the first meeting in the month? Um, then would we want to just forego the second meeting and meet the well? The fourth is probably going to be put us in at Christmas. The fourth would be the, is Christmas, so you're not going to. 
How about if we shift them both? If we're going go, first, go first to the 18th, and thir first and third. Yeah. So we target the 18th. Okay. That's fine for now. And we can talk about January mm -hmm. later. Um, <clears throat> do we? Um, <coughs> that you know. So we we either the second or fourth or first and third. There's a commit. There's another public meeting by at least one member on at seven. So, um, do we want to try and do? I know you had, a, and I know you had a problem getting here earlier than six days. So well, as we get it, into the winter, it'll be easier. It's easier, yeah, definitely. Do we want to try to push? Do we want to try to go like? Do you want to try to go like five thirty? I mean, it's kind of strike a compromise between. Is that too early for people? Or I mean, I'm just trying to preserve. If, if we went to five, I'd be coming from work straight to the meeting. Right. <laughs> five thirty, it would be stop at home for a few minutes and then come here, which I'm, which works for me. Okay. I can make that work. Is that I'm good? Five thirty works. Yep. Yeah. You might want to try at least for the December fourth when we have you know then we have a lot to discuss. I want to at least try that. One for yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tanner, is that? It's tight, but. It's tight. Okay, so November kids at five. So I got gotcha. you. Okay, <laughs> November thirteenth will be. Well, I mean, it's also one of those things where, to Dave's point from earlier, we probably aren't going to get everybody for every meeting, and if we have yeah. someone coming in at late, you know, we can try. And, yeah, at least we're. we yeah, right. So okay, thirteenth so be six. Why don't we do thirteenth at six? Is just do the thirteenth at six. And then the December meetings will shift to 5:30. That sound good? Yep. All right. Okay. Good. Great. Um, so, uh, last agenda is just any comments, general comments from the committee members, and I guess I will start and say that um, I will, um, particularly if it's in agreement with you folks, I will make sure I have a public comment at the end here. I. Um, I'm happy to do that. Um, we can do it both slots. It's fine with me. I'll do that. Um, I just, I'll just say, uh, I appreciate your vote of confidence with the, <laughs> with this position. And uh, I said it to you in an email, but I, uh, I, I don't get offended very easily. So I am always open for, uh, for uh, critiques and suggestions. So feel free to, uh, to do that. To get so far. Consider it an open door policy. Okay. And, and I'd just like to state that my nominations were not based on the fact that two of the three members were not here. I really did put some thought into it. I had oh, I wasn't flying that. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. But I had actually hoped to speak with the, both of the candidates that, you know, before that meeting, but I didn't get a chance to. But, you know, I just put all my thoughts together, and those were the three people that I came up with that thought uh, for the three different positions would would work best if they were will, willing to serve. So that was my premise for nominations. I guess my other comment is thank you for to the um, to the access cable for being here. This is I think very important to have it videotaped. I think uh, in the interest of community <laughs> transparency, um, we want to. That's an important piece. So. Absolutely. Anything else? Mike, anything else? Tanner? Yeah. Good. 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 Motion to adjourn. Second. Discussion on the motion to adjourn. No. It doesn't take a discussion. I <laughs> Thank you.